That's my favorite lyric ever invented. Ooh. My makeup has been making me feel like I look like Rumpelstiltskin from Once Upon a Time. Because it's very, like, it's shiny and he has shiny, he has shiny skin. So, I need to change my glasses because, because I have cool new glasses. Love them so very much. Hi guys, I'm Anna and welcome back to my channel. I decided to do another book haul because I've just started my new semester and I got a lot of books and this year that kind of like contrasts past semesters, I've gotten more novels than textbooks and I'm very excited for them so I thought I would show you guys what a college student reads in a semester. And I hope you guys enjoy. So let's get into it. The first book that I have is actually a textbook. Um, but it's for my American government class. And American government, this class, is a requirement for the political science major. So, mm, but it's also kind of a very interesting time to take it as far as like the election and everything so that's kind of like yay good planning on my behalf um so the book is the logic of american politics and i really just wanted to show you guys this textbook and be like reading the title and then be really punny about it and be like there is no logic um, i don't want to get political but i just think that as far as how the party system is set up i think I'm not a fan of it because I don't particularly like either side and I'd rather like voters focus on the issues and not which candidate is representing which party. I don't know, that's just that's just me. It's my American government book and a super cute little bookmark. I have focus. A pineapple. I love pineapples. Yay! It's also a very, like, modern book. The next class that I have is Revolutionary Europe from 1789 to 1919. So it's from the French Revolution to the Bolshevik Revolution. European history is my favorite thing in the world. So the next book is also a textbook. I realize that just by the two books that I've shown you so far, I've negated my statement of like, oh, I have more novels than textbooks. But I swear, if you stick through this with me, we'll get to the novels. So the next textbook is The Making of the West. And my professor said that it's a very simple textbook. So it's more for like a freshman level class, which is ironic that it's like a junior level class. But um, it's very easy to read and follow. And what I really like about this textbook is that it's a really good like survey of history. And that's what I love. I'm like such a nerd when it comes to history in any form but like when it's like a survey of just everything that happened i just i love that the next book i have for that class is the social contract by rousseau we haven't started reading this i'm excited to read this because i really like classics and um i just i like books so yeah also look at the cover isn't this cover really like cool I think it's really cool. Third book for this class I actually thought was an accident. Like I accidentally either ordered the wrong thing or they sent me the wrong thing because I ordered it online and I was like, mm, is this? I don't think this is right. Um, but it is Marx. Because look at it. It looks like a kid's book. And I was just like, this is not correct. But then I looked inside and I realized it's a comic book. So... I'm going to just show you a little snippet. It's a comic book, which is, like, the coolest thing in the world. I love when, like, professors like to integrate, like, different types of material into the class and, like, something like a comic book. That's, like, so cool. I, I just, it was just, ah, I'm so excited to read this. It's also, like, such a cute little book. Like, all the illustrations, I love them. <laughs> I'm so excited. The next class that I have is... Uh, medieval Europe. The first book is a textbook and it is medieval Europe and it's just kind of like another like survey type of textbook um, which I already said I really enjoy so um, 
I'm excited to dive further into this um, because it goes through a massive amount of time. We're going to be learning um, over a thousand years of history, which is crazy. And I love it. Medieval People. Medieval People. This book, I believe, is kind of using documents that the, the very few documents that are available and like retelling stories of like everyday life in medieval times, which is like oh, so cool. If you want to think of it as something, kind of think of it as like, um, like, like imagines, but for medieval history. Which is weird, but still really cool for like a history major. That is Montelulu. I can't say that, so I'm just not gonna. This book is specifically about, um, France in the medieval period. So yeah, and it is a vintage... It says vintage back here. Look at that. I'm even vintage in my books. And the last book for medieval Europe is A Distant Mirror and I believe what he said it's kind of like one of those books that makes you think about how history repeats itself which is something that I love to think about. I know it's odd but I love to think about it and talks about but medieval Europe in general and then I think the 20th century, don't quote me on this, and analyzes um, the fact that there was death and destruction in both of the eras but like history repeated itself in the sense that it happened again. We have history for a reason and it's to learn to not do those things again. The book that I kept from the class that I dropped is Ordinary Men, Reserve Police Battalion 101 and the Final Solution in Poland. If you know anything about me, you know that I absolutely love history, specifically World War II, as sadistic as it sounds, and I'm Polish. So I had to keep this book because I am more than utterly fascinated in this topic and it has me completely interested in every facet and to just learn more about it in any way, I will dig my nails into and keep forever. The class that I switched out of and into is the history of the Islamic world. So the four books that I'm about to show you, I literally know nothing about, but I'm very excited to read. Also, some of one of them has a really cool cover, so I have to like show it to you because I'm like, hey, that's cool. It is the autobiography by Malcolm X. I'm really glad that I'm getting the opportunity to read this for my Islamic world history class. The next book is Tea in the Harlem. Also very excited to read this. The reason I wanted to show you it is because I think the cover is like really interesting. I have is Beyond the Veil. Um, I know nothing about this book but equally excited to read this. The last one is Milestones and I know nothing about it. Those were my books for this semester. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, or book recommendations for me, please comment down below, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, everybody. Have a beautiful day.